When we started with KSL, we of course already had raised the bar quite high. We had some electroacoustical properties that we uh, launched with the GSL, and of course uh, we wanted to keep them. Well, the common features of the SL series is full range broadband directivity, it's the enhanced dynamic behavior, and it's the improved rigging workflow. As we designed, for example, the front end of the D80 amplifiers, we already buried some FIR filters into the machine. Nobody knew it. We used it six years later with the array processing. This is what we consider forward compatibility. We have a vision that might come true in five or six years, and we are setting basically the technical seeds already in there, which is part of the enabling technology evolution. The GSL is 1 meter 30, while the KSL is just 1 meter. Um, it is slightly lower, and the major difference is the weight. While the GSL comes with 80 kilograms, the KSL we will manage to end slightly below 60 kilograms. Scaled down by 25, 30 percent. It was a high task for the development team to define the drivers and get all that stuff done. Of course, a smaller size, you compromise a little bit here and there, but the aim was basically to reach the entire performance in terms of headroom output and the cardioid behavior above 50 Hertz. And this worked out better than we actually expected. The low frequency section of the KSL consists of two front-facing 10-inch drivers loaded in a base reflex enclosure. Then there are the additional side-firing 8-inch uh, drivers also in their base reflex enclosure. We need this configuration in order to create the directivity. Then there is a single 8-inch mid-range horn and we are using two HF drivers with 3-inch voice coils on a wave shaping device. So if you walk around the KSL, you have the same listening experience that you have on the GSL with a great reduction towards the rear side. It's basically if you do the magic step around the side of the box, you suddenly get a great reduction of the low frequency energy. The entire compression set except of the size of a compression frame. All the chains, the chain host, all the little bits are the same as a GSL, just to make it more easy to live with. So it's a family 